So hello there and welcome to another album review of The Shield Doing a Couch. I'm your host, Hector, and as you can see, I'm on the balcony again for another review. And this week had a lot of like death metal albums. Uh, we have that Sa So Shui Oh my god, that name's so <laughs> difficult to say last uh, yesterday. And today we're talking about Memoriam. And Memoriam, uh it's a death metal album, but I thought this band is more melodic than the band that I inter uh, that I reviewed yesterday. So Memoriam Rise to Power, it came out uh the February 3, and this is a band that is founded by former former bolt thrower singer Carl Willits and Benediction bassist Frank Healy. So they're a band with people from other bands and the album, you know, it's interesting. It's eight tracks. It's 44 minutes in length. So it doesn't overstay its welcome. And this is the album cover for Memoriam, Rise to Power. So, yeah, it's a pretty standard uh, death metal album cover. And this album, a lot of the themes that are touched upon on this album are about war, especially the war in Ukraine and the effects of war. So that's that's something that a lot of bands uh, do in albums, uh, not that much in death metal, I think more like in power metal. But yeah, this band uh, has a more like serious tone to it uh, in the in the songs. You know, they're not about zombies. They're not about ripping people apart. They're about more serious subject matter, more grounded in real life and not in fantasy like some other uh, death metal albums like I said this one is more melodic so it's even though it can be pretty fast uh, sometimes there's more pacings in the songs there are longer song structures there are songs that are like five to six minutes so they take their time uh, and I think yeah that that's good you know to have like uh, a little bit more melody to it which I enjoy and the vocals here really remind me of Max Cavalera from Sepultura, especially that 90s, uh, early 90s Sepultura. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, the album is eight tracks. And out of those eight tracks, uh, I, I have a few that I enjoyed a little bit more, which I'm going to, you know, talk a little bit about the, the tracks that I thought stood out a little bit more. And for me... In this album of the eight tracks, I think that the beginning tracks are the standouts. The album starts pretty strong with Never Forget, Never Again, Six Million Dead. And obviously, uh, they talk about here about the Holocaust and all the people that die. So, you know, it starts with a serious note to it. Uh, it's basic death metal, great riffing. Uh, the vocals for him, you know, they, they can be, they're understandable. You can understand what what is being uh, sung here. And I thought this was a great opening track, which really sets the mood for the album. And then uh, I think Total War, which is the second track on the album, and it was a single that they released, is by far to me the highlight of the album. You know, it's it's punchy. Uh, it's got great hooks to it, and it's not that long, so it doesn't overstay its welcome. And I think the riffing on this on this song is is really good, and obviously it's about war again, so it's a, a running theme. Uh, then they go with "I Am the Enemy," and that one is interesting. Although uh, sometimes I think the riffs get a little bit repetitive, and you know, then I think. So, uh, uh, the album kind of like uh, does it kind of loses me a little bit because it's it's not a bad album, but I think it can get a little bit monotone at times. You know, like very same soundy, like it follows a formula. Like sometimes you don't know where a song ends and another one begins. Like for example, that happens when Annihilation's Dawn ends and All Is Lost begins. Uh, I at one moment I thought that I was listening to the same song because you could hardly tell when one ended and the other began, and sometimes that's a problem because they blend together and uh, I kind of like lose uh, some interest at times. But you know, it, I couldn't say that there's any track here that is bad. The only problem that I have with this album is that I think it could 
uh, enjoy a little bit more experimentation, especially I think the vocals like are the same for every song. There's I I, I like, like like some variation, like if they're using melody, maybe they can use some different melodies in the voice and maybe uh, change some riffing because there's some riffings, riffs in songs here that's kind of sound similar to the other one. And, you know, at the end of the day, this is not, there is nothing new here uh, with this band, with Memoriam. You know, I've heard this type of death metal a million times. And with death metal, sometimes to stand out, you have to do something different and get outside of your comfort zone and maybe experiment a little bit. Because to me here, this, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a solid album, but, you know, it doesn't, there's nothing here that grabs my attention that I'm like, wow, I never heard this before. So yeah, at, at the end of the day, you know, it's a solid album, just nothing that I would like really go back to that much. Uh, and uh, the only like, there's like a few standout tracks and the other ones, they're just okay tracks to me. That is Rise to Power by Memorian in a nutshell. So what did you think about this album? Did you like it? You didn't like it? Comment. What are your favorite tracks? And what to you is like a really solid death metal album that has come out this year that is on your radar or I should listen to it? Let me know. So if you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out, like uh, if you want to subscribe, uh, come on, do it. And I'll, I'll be very happy to have you join me in the couch. And also, you know, uh, share with your friends so the channel can keep growing. So until next time, people, this is Hector, the shield on a couch, and I'll see you right here on the couch. Thank you and good night. <laughs>